Hey YouTube, Hassan here again. Today with another film review for you. Today I'll be reviewing the second instalment of the Spider-Man series. I'll be reviewing Spider-Man 2. Alright, let's begin. Spider-Man 2 takes place two years after the first film. You see that Spide Peter has actually left school because he's graduated. He's actually still working for J. Jones Jameson. And Peter like, goes to his old professor, who's also his hero, known as Dr. Oct Octo Octavius, who's making an experiment, he's also living with his wife as well, it's like an experiment, which is funded by Harry's company, Oscorps, and Harry is still you know, hating, Sp hating Spider-Man because of the first film, so he thinks that Spider he killed his father. So now, uh, Peter then goes to the experiment, but then that experiment goes haywire, Killing like his wife, killing like Octavius' wife, and nearly killing him in the stages. The next, then that, that night, like his like claws thing, which is the thing he's working on, he like it, you know kills nearly kills someone. He realizes why he's going crazy is because the chip at the back is like been destroyed. So now he decides to get revenge and try and recreate it again, calling himself Doctor Octo. So sort of Octo Octavius, known as Doc, is calling himself Doctor Octopus because of the octopus like claws. You know, Doctor Jameson he wants Peter to actually take pictures of him as well as Spider Man. Also, Mary Jane is getting met, engaged. She's engaged to like Jameson's son, who's an astronaut is going down. So Peter takes pictures of him as well. Now Peter and Spider Man fucks Doctor Octopus. But then gets badly injured that his mask comes off as well and he's like trying to sell people in the uh, train. People then protect him. They say that they're not going to tell anyone that he's Spider-Man. So after a tense fight, Peter eventually like, loses his like, ability to become Spider-Man as well and throws his costume like bin and Jameson finds it. And eventually like, he has to wear his glasses again and everything as well. And then Mary Jane realises she has feeling for Peter. So then she basically like talks to him, but then like Doc Octopus is like talking to Harry at the same time, but then he agrees to capture Spider Man for Harry if he gives him that last thing that he needs to finish off his project. Which he does he like Octopus Dr. Octopus like smashes a glass on the like restaurant and because everyone like, thinks that Peter is friends with Spider-Man so because of that uh, Peter then eventually gets his powers back and steals his costume back fights Octopus but then like gets badly injured so Dr. Octopus takes Peter to like Harry lies him in the bed thing that from the first film that you know Peter put Harry's father and uh, Doctor Octopus nicks that last thing Harry like, takes off the mask and reveals that he's as actually Peter and he's angry and then Peter then says sorry but Harry won't take it so Peter takes the mask at the same time Doctor Octopus had nicked Mary Jane after a tense fight then eventually with Spider-Man and Doctor Octopus so, uh, he takes off the mask and reveal and actually finds out that you know Spider Man is Peter. Mary Jane finds that as well, and then like because the experiment's gone haywire again, so because of that he like Doctor Fish tries to stop it, but then kills himself. So Peter puts a mask back on, and goes with Mary Jane to you know like basically gives her back to J. J. Jameson. Next day is the wedding day of Mary Jane, but then she realised she loves Peter, so who's actually Spider-Man, as she knows now, and she knows that why Peter can't be with her. So Peter go, so then she goes to Peter, you know, you know, running away from the wedding, and they get together. And then the next, and that night, Harry is angry about everything, so he throws the like wine, the alcohol, like smashing the like glass and realising that uh, there's a secret door behind it 
because he finds out his father created like the green goblin thing. So because of that, Harry goes into like that same tube as his father did from the first film and becomes and like goes crazy and puts the green goblin. The end. Now what I like about this film, it had Harry like coming back, basically giving a reason why now he hates like Spider-Man, but also I like how Mary Jane got together and she actually admit that she likes Peter. This is good. Also I liked how Dr. Octopus like, you know, realised his mistake and everything, so that's good. Also it's nice to see J. Joe Jameson's son. And also like the other good thing is that because everyone's missing him, so it proves how good how great that uh, Spider Man was and how like he inspired those kids as well. Like and also even J. Jonah Jameson was actually missing him. Which is strange because he hates him, so you know. And what I didn't like about this film was the fact that in the end Harry becomes like she goes he goes into the same thing in the same tube, even though he knew what happened or he doesn't know what happened to his father but you know, he's Peter's seen it, seen it, but you know what? What can you do? Even though Peter now knows that his father was a green goblin, which is like bad because now, you know, we're in more trouble now because I don't like how Peter, like, is like, is now can try and become friends with. He's still become friends with Pete, Harry, but Harry now hates Peter. Which is strange, which is bad because Peter and Harry were good friends for a long time. Now, for my overall review for this film, I'll give this film 8 out of 10. Thank you guys for watching. Tune in next week when I do when I'm reviewing another Spider-Man review, I'll be doing the third instalment of the Spider-Man series. And remember guys, leave your comments below what next videos I should do. I'll see you guys next week. Hassan signing out.